it is a, a good example of a trauma as well, right? Because of what we just talked about. Um, so the next question was going to be is if can anyone have trauma or PTSD? And of course, I mean, you answered it. Anyone can. Now, that's the thing that Kavita was saying earlier was this is something that we're bringing to light in more recent years because back then trauma or PTSD is only going to be like war veterans, like, you know, something extremely huge. Uh, but we're starting to realize and learn that you can actually go through these kind of traumatic events and PTSD and have the physical manifestations of them, even in day to day life. Imagine, for example, we're going to get a little bit dark here, but um, abusive relationships. You know, that that is traumatic. That is PTSD. Then when they have trust issues or they're fearful of men or something along the sorts, that is a result yeah. of previous experiences creating a traumatic event for them or yeah. a traumatic experience or traumatic train of thought. So, I mean, I'm sure you have a lot more to say on the topic. So what would you like to add to it? No, I think you touched on a lot of points. Yeah, like anyone can experience it. So you're not immune from trauma, right? But again, just also please highlight that Trauma doesn't mean that I need to see someone get killed. I need to be in a war. It could be a simple thing. As I yeah. stepped over something that I wasn't, uh, like I fell on ice and I hit my head or my face and it was okay. But that going on the ice was so, I will never go on ice again. Yeah. Right? So, it, so it doesn't necessarily have to be huge. It can be simple, but all of us interpret the world differently, right? So post-traumatic stress is, uh, is part of trauma. So trauma, I look at it like an umbrella. Within trauma, there's different, different section. And so post-traumatic uh, stre uh, post stress is, uh, is PTSD is what happens is um, it's a mental health condition that triggered by terrifying event. Mm -hmm. But when you experience it or witness it, it stays, the symptoms stay there for longer. So I, I fell on the ice. After one day, one week, I'm okay. Like I'm like, okay, whatever. But some people are like never again. I'm gonna get on the ice again. Some or you know, you know what's happened too. Yeah. Um, I've also read of certain case studies. Let's say let's just relate it to the ice, yeah. where you went on the ice, you fell really hard, you hurt your head, you're like, whoa, maybe a trickle of blood. You're like, whoa, yeah. what's going on? Then you got up and you were fine. And then you're ice skating the next day, then the next day, and then you know what? A year later, you went on the ice, and all of a sudden, you're freaking out. You're like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. And you didn't realize, but that was actually a traumatic event. You internalized, 100%. and that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, right. So that's the PTSD, and there's a lot of like, you know, PTSD. We can't diagnose it. It's more like when you get flashbacks, when you have severe anxiety, when you can't stop eating, when you have constant thoughts about that, that event, right? Um, those could be related, but it's very tricky. Like, um, you know, when, for me, whether it's PTSD or not, because I don't work in the capacity, I see trauma as trauma. It's affecting you. It's affecting the function of your di life. So whether you have this label, and I think we're going to talk about labels, whether yeah. you have to, you know, whether it's PTSD and um, it's a label or not, it's affecting you right? You're not able to have a good night's sleep. You can't eat. So, you know, it, it is PTSD, but if you want a, a official diagnosis, there's a, a process to go through. You know, there's, um, and we'll, yeah, we'll talk about why that's important, but, um, you know, another way to of how the of traumatic events or PTSD or each forms of trauma, the way they might manifest itself is, uh, weight gain has been something that's been linked. So mm -hmm. what they'll say is, because physically what you're doing is gaining weight because you're trying to have this layer of armor okay. around you. And we can do like this subconsciously. Yeah, because yeah, you want exactly, you're building physically a protective shell. And yeah. you don't realize this, you know, yeah. but, but they're trying to find that this, that's one of the ways that it might manifest itself, right? Uh, yeah. So in case you ever see someone with a dramatic weight gain, it's you know, possible like, they've been going through something. You're right. Yeah. Because, you know, when you eat something on, like, you know, with the emotional eating, why are we doing this? We want to kind of numb the feelings. But maybe, as you said, you're right. Like, like, and I've actually heard stories, not in that context. I heard that I became big, so nobody will ever abuse me again. I can and become the Where you go. Right. I will never be a victim again. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one, oh, you know, I wanted to get the big job and I want to be at top of my game because then I will never be poor again. I will always get respect. Yeah. That's trauma yeah. in its essence. I will share that uh, for me, that career path is definitely something I 
to this day have like being growing up in abject poverty i don't realize how much that still carries into my adult life and like for example the fear of having kids i'm afraid to have kids because i don't want my kids to grow up in this poverty and i mean i'm not I'm like i'm doing decent now like if you know a fancy job all the kind of adulting we're supposed to do but i still have that fear yeah so imagine that right and then we are like we kind of know things right rationally yeah. we struggle with this right but it's about the struggle it's about the acknowledgement and then what do you do with it that's where it's we just, so sometimes we get stuck and it's a lot of work to kind of come out of the other way but at least you know that now like this is probably one of the reasons why i struggle with having kids and it's not a right or wrong thing this is who you are you just have to work through it and whatever you choose is okay and being okay well, yeah. is important too right i mean i mean of course I yeah it took a lot of it took a lot if you want to hear more stories don't forget to subscribe comment and like to support more youth by youth led projects visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness youth speak performance charity speak inspire change